devices. Do you, uh, what do you make of that report? Do you think that there should be any I haven't. I haven't or? reviewed the report. I know the concept. The concept is when you're trying to save kids from a, a mass shooter, uh, worrying about a fire escape issue isn't your top priority. And it's a matter of prioritizing uh, your standards. My understanding is most of the barricade issues are only applicable in barricade situations. Uh, they don't impede the overall ingress and egress from a fire code standpoint. I think the organization that creates the standards and the rules needs to be more flexible. Senator, do you anticipate coming back before your scheduled sessions in whatever is it, September? I do not. Is there, can I ask about the Youngstown School Closure Commission? There's been some calls to try to overturn that veto. Do you have any thoughts on that? Oh, you're talking, that's not the schools, the Youngstown. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm combining two things. Yeah, developmental we're, disability we're centers. looking at it. Any veto override has to start in the House. Um, and, and right now, I've not heard from the House any willingness to work on that issue. Um, look, I, I think this whole issue on closure is a very difficult one, particularly for the parents involved. But um, I'm pushing the administration to give assurances that everybody will be able to have the quality of care uh, that they've come to expect and that they need for their family members. Uh, that is the first priority. Uh, uh, while I'm sure it's important and also a priority that family members have access to care where they want it and, and as local as possible, uh, when you talk about maximizing state resources, um, making sure the care is available is the first priority. Um, and so that's the discussion that's going to be had. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.